Okay, so let's install Google Webmaster Tools into our blog. Now, the very first thing you're going to need to do is to be logged into a Google account, okay? So if you've got a Gmail account, that'll do fine. Just go ahead and log into your Gmail account and then navigate back to Google where we can conduct a search query. So all we would do here is punch in Webmaster Tools and you'll see it's come up at the top here. So that's www.google.com forward slash webmasters forward slash tools so let's go ahead and log in here anyway then we want to navigate over to the right here where you'll see it's got add a site if we left click on that once then enter the URL of the site in fact if I just get it from a the blog here because this is a long one this is just a chuck away subdomain I use so let me copy that URL go back to webmaster tools and paste that in okay to HTTP so get rid of that okay then just left click on continue make sure you get your domain name right obviously once you're happy with that click continue then come up to this tab here alternate methods we're just going to upload it straight into our footer.php within our admin area okay so don't worry about the recommended method come to alternate methods and then select the add a meter tag to your site's home page then it's going to spit this code out here okay what we want to do is highlight all that and copy then if I switch back to my tab so I'm in my WordPress administration area we want to navigate to appearance in our menu bar and then select editor at the bottom here okay so left click there once then if we navigate to the right we want this header link here so you'll see header.php so left click once on the header link then inside all this computer code here it can look overwhelming but don't worry we're just looking for a certain tag okay and that is the head tag so if we just scroll down here and it is just here look so you'll see this head tag so you've got the less than sign forward slash head greater than sign just click above your head tag if I hit return once actually and then I'm pressing control V on my keyboard and I've just pasted in that line of code I just copied from Google Webmaster Tools okay then if I scroll down a little bit just left click on here update file so that's obviously now input the code into our themes header.php file next we need to notify Google that we've made this change that we've input the code so that they can verify it okay so again go back to your account at webmaster central then if I scroll down here a little bit again and you'll see here the red box verify so left click on that once And there you go. If it's been successful, it will say congratulations, you have successfully verified your ownership of whatever your domain name is. Okay, also while we're here, what we're going to do is submit our sitemap, okay? And that is, this has actually changed the layout a little bit here, so they've thrown me off a bit. So let me navigate back a page and we'll find it here. Okay, let's try logging in here again because this is the first domain I've actually installed on this test account so it may be to do with that webmaster tools webmaster that might be it let's have a look okay now it's installed let's try actually clicking on the site I think this is what it is because I never logged out and in again okay here we go site configuration so left click there once and then you'll see here sitemaps okay left click on sitemaps then over to the right here add test sitemap so left click there again and your sitemap URL they've already got your URL for your domain there so you don't need to worry about that the only text that you need to add is sitemap.xml and then click on submit sitemap okay sitemap submitted so that's all good as well so that brings us to an end of that video Google Webmaster Tools is now installed within our blog and Google's going to be able to crawl our site much quicker and better okay that's the idea of doing it anyway and submitting your sitemap